Hi Hexagon, and welcome to this Inspire training video. Today, we're going to discuss ATS 600 line scanning. First, navigate to the acquisition mode and switch over to line scan. Then, click on the gears to open the line scan property menu. Inside of here, we can select define slash view from OVC. And this will bring up the OVC window from the tracker. Next, go to line scans, move the view around, and then select add new line. Then simply left click on the object located in the OVC window around the inspection you want. Right click and the ATS 600 will go through and measure those points. Next, if you select the line, you can change the point to distance properties, the line to distance properties, and those will be reflected and updated inside of the OVC window. So now I'm going to change the line and we can see that being automatically updated and adjustable. Once you have your settings completed, you can also add an additional line. For this line, we're going to move it from around the edges and update that in the OVC. So I can see it a little bit better. I'm going to left click all the way around. Left click, left click. And once you're done, remember to right click and the ATS 600 will go through and measure those. Now inside those properties, I'm going to switch it to a different mode, which is linear. In this, I have the ability to change the point to point distance, or I can modify the line width by simply moving the slider or entering something into the box. Once you accept these values, click on set from OVC, and we will see the estimated time scan update. Close out the OVC window and then select apply. Now inside of the main graphical view, click on the measure icon and the ATS 600 will go through and physically measure those features. I'm gonna hide the CAD model and we can see those points coming into the software. Once it's complete, we can now review to make sure that it's correct. Now I'm going to go back to my line scan profile and I'm going to switch it and uncheck send as cloud. I'm going to select apply. I'm going to accept the measurements for my cloud too. I'm going to navigate to my features tab and then I'm going to select create point group. This will place all the points measured from the ATS 600 into a point group. I'm going to select measure. And then now we can see those points coming into the software. As the ATS 600 measure those points, you will see that number appear in the main graphical view in the bottom right hand corner. Now that we have completed this, we can add additional features or complete our measurement. Thank you for watching and we hope you are inspired.